Hello people, welcome back to another episode of Relating Me and You, you and to YouTube. And today what we are going to discuss is the skincare. Now, this doesn't mean the skincare skincare here. I mean we are going to prep our skin for a flawless finish. Now, since there is wedding season and function season and everything going on around, we all need flawless skin and we all need flawless makeup. Now, uh, we have heard a lot of myths of people saying skin kharaab ho jati hai, pimples a jati hai, uh, aging zalti hoti hai because of applying a lot of makeup. But I am going to burst out all those myths. See, it is a very simple phenomena. When you don't take care of something, obviously kuch easy kharaab ho. Whether it is your furniture, whether it is your uh, dresses or it is your skin. Our skin is very much like wearing new clothes. When you go for an event, when you go for a marriage or an engagement or anything like that, if you go out wearing new fancy clothes, you come home and you remove those clothes. You don't wear it all day, all night and sleep in those clothes, right? Makeup is very, very, very similar to that. If you are wearing makeup, it is important that you also remove your makeup when you come out. When you come home, sorry. It is very important that you remove your makeup when you come. Like your dresses get spoiled if you sleep overnight with them, your face is going to get spoiled if you sleep with makeup on. It is as simple as that. So like you take care of your good fancy clothes, you need to take care of your skin because you are going to live with the skin all your life. If you don't take care of it, it is going to get spoiled. So it is important that before applying makeup, like you iron new clothes, you prepare your skin. So I am going to tell you what are the best ways to prep your skin before applying makeup to get a flawless finish. So without much ado, let's just get started. The first two steps that we are going to do are supposed to be done like 6 to 8 hours prior to your applying makeup. So uh, you can do a night before if you have a morning function or you can do a morning on the morning of the day of the function if the function is in evening so we are going to follow these three simple steps first is obviously cleansing make sure your face is clean then i am going to scrub or exfoliate my skin and then i am going to tone and then we are going to apply a face mask so my skin is really 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 sensitive like even the slightest exfoliation can lead to this situation right here and can cause micro tears on my skin so it is really difficult for me to have scrubbing on my face but i have found something that suits my skin really well and that is this innisfree face mask now this is the face mask that is suiting my skin very well and when it dries up it dries up really well like it dries up completely and when I wash, try washing my face, I gently scrub with it so that it also behaves like a scrub. So this is what we are going to use first. After applying it nicely and make sure you don't get too close to your eyes or mouth region and uh, you apply it and let it for, set for around 20 minutes and then we are going to get back. So guys my mask has dried up and I am not really able to speak but it has dried up completely and it gives you that firmness. Now what I am going to do is I am going to take some water on my hands and I am going to make this circular motions which is going to give it a gentle scrub and work as a scrub exfoliator as well as it is going to take care of my pores so i'll wash it off and 
it went to your body. So I am back after washing my face and you can see a lot of water on my face. That is because I don't wipe off the water from my face even after I bath because I feel this water can be gently absorbed into the skin. And because I don't drink much water and my skin is always dehydrated, I prefer doing this because somehow I feel that this gets absorbed into my skin and provide a little bit of water to it. So yeah. I dab this water like I dab any other toner or any other cream on my skin and just let it go and penetrate into my skin. And now as we are done with that, we are going to proceed towards our toner. This is the toner that I am using currently. It is alcohol free and is really 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 perfect. Very well for my pores. It has quite a lot uh, decreased the appearance of my pores. So this is what I use and shake it well every time before using and then I apply, I open it and then I apply it in the form of pores. Because I don't feel that I should take it on cotton and then apply it because I feel there's a lot of product paste that way and I have the juice in that sense. absorbs 
things that we put on our face. So you just have to nicely spread it very gently all over your face. And then you can dab if you feel the need. And never forget your neck. Whatever steps you use for your face, you should always use for your neck as well because it needs equal amount of pampering. Hi guys, it is next day morning and I am back here with my skincare, skin prep routine for our flawless makeup. I know it is quite a lot of things but if you want flawless skin, you have to work hard. So I am here back again and uh, as I told what I applied last night, you can see how shiny and beautiful and glowy my face and skin is looking. So, uh, I have not washed my face, I must tell you. I have not washed it. And uh, I am going to rub eyes on my face. I like rub eyes all over my face and then I am going to let it set for a while, like 5 minutes or so, and then I'll get back. So, I am back after cleaning my face and rubbing some eyes on it and it is simply looking wonderful like there is nothing on my face literally nothing but it is looking so 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 nice so now we are going to do our prep for before makeup let's see how do we start so now i'm going to start with the toner again i'm going to apply toner as usual and then some under eye cream makeup is very 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 important because it is going to moisturize our under eyes and prepare it for concealer like everything else can still go on our skin but if you don't apply an under eye cream and you apply a concealer it is going to be very 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 bad condition so make sure you apply an under eye cream always final step before my foundation is using this moisture surge it is really nice hydration for your skin like even the smallest quantity the smallest quantity works bottles so I am going to apply this and this is how the skin is looking nicely hydrated and moisturized I do this at least twice a week obviously I don't do it every day before applying makeup because that will be too much for anybody but then I have to go for a special function a special engagement a special marriage or anything like that I make sure I do these steps before applying my makeup that just makes my skin and makeup look absolutely stunning and if you want to see how it looks I am going to do that tutorial as well if you want to watch it so give this video a thumbs up if you want to watch the tutorial that how it looks after doing so much of a hard work but I'm going to shoot it in right next so I just hope you want to watch it and yeah please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I come online and if you like this video give it a big fat thumbs up until then next time ta-da